Hey pretties, it's Flair back with another tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how to do this eye. Um, it's just lilac eyes. Um, I read in, I was reading Marie Claire yesterday, uh, the March 2010 edition with Angelina Jolie on the front. Um, and they had a feature called Top Trends to Try Now. And one of them was lilac eyes. Um, like you see here, and it was seen, I'm just checking my notes, um, at Dior and Versace shows, which, awesome. Um, I'm not really that up with, like, makeup trends. I just sort of wear what I think looks good because trends, trends are great, but I don't think anything is as great as doing your own thing and um, wearing stuff that makes you happy. So... Do bear that in mind, but this is just something I saw that I really liked and I would actually wear, so I thought I'd share it. Um, I just had a look at the picture and sort of made it up, so I don't actually have the magazine with me. It wasn't mine, so from memory, I think it was something similar to this. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing today. I hope you like it. Uh, so if you want to see how to do it, keep watching. Okay, so first I've primed the lid and um, underneath the lash line with Urban Decay Prime Potion, just blended it with my finger. Um, now I'm going to take some translucent powder and a makeup sponge and just go really heavy with that under the eye to catch any fallout because I have already done my foundation and um, concealer and all that jazz. This is just one by... Savvy by DB. It's just the cheapest one I could get basically from um, Priceline. Okay, so the first colour is from the 120 palette. Um, and it's this one here. It looks quite blue on camera, but it's um like a, I suppose, a dark lavender. Just taking a fat sort of eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. Just a little above the crease. Alright, so once that's on, what I've used um, just above the crease, see how it gets darker here? I used... Um, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Hot Pink as a base. Now that is seriously hot pink. So just um, here's your crease in here, just on the bone, just above that. So I guess the brow bone. Duh. Okay, that's a pretty terrible example, but just you just want a nice arch and then... Just sort of smush that out, smush or smudge, or just sort of work that out a little bit with your finger. So you want to work it up and out, but also a little bit down. So just if you tap that line, that should... Um, Take away a little bit of the harshness. So then take that first colour again, same brush, and just pat, pat that over the top and you see how it takes the pink away and you get this beautiful deep lilac. So you get the picture there. Now, um, over the top of that, I used um, an eyeshadow, an Inglot eyeshadow from one of their palettes. This center one here. Gosh, it's really washed out on camera, but it's like a beautiful shimmery mauve. So I'm just going to take the same brush and go all over that. Over the top of everything with the light, with that mauve. Okay, 
Now, just under the brow there, I'm going to highlight with a colour from the 28 Neutral palette. Um, same shaped brush, but a clean one. Um, so the Neutral palette looks like this. Um, and I'm going to use this colour here. It's the lightest of the matte shadows, I think. This should, um, see I went a tad too high here, so if you um, take a lighter eyeshadow above it, you should be able to blend it out and make the shapes a little more similar. Oh, also from this, <clears throat> from the 28 neutral palette, I just got that really light sort of highlighting colour there, just a little on the... Um, edgy finger there. I just put it in the inner corner there. Okay, so now I'm just going to get rid of that loose powder. Meanwhile, that's set my under eye concealer, so that's good. Um, now I'm going to line my waterline with just a white um, eyeliner pencil. This is an inglot one. Any will do the trick and do exactly the same thing. And also just, I just put a tad there on the actual skin. So your waterline and just a tiny bit just in there. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, mascara. I also, I the blush I used is this NYX one. It's called Peachy. I really like to use peach cheeks and I'll do a peachy sort of lip with um, purple. I think that, I don't, purple and pink is a bit Barbie, I think. I don't know. Um... Yeah, so that's the blush I've already got it on. Probably can't tell that much on camera, but it is there. A mascara I was doing. Gosh, I'm distracting myself. So curl your lashes. I'm just using CoverGirl Lash Blast in brown black. And just a tiny bit on the bottom. You don't want it to be too, too dramatic. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Um, for the lip, I'm going to keep it basically really simple just with a gloss. This is a NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Smoky Look. I've been using this quite a bit. I really like it. Um, I also have Beige. It would be a nice one as well. It's a similar... Um, uh, it's not really any darker or lighter than this, but it's a bit pinker, I suppose. So I've already got, um, I already had Blistex on my lips and that, if you haven't heard of Blistex, you need to go and get yourself some. It's just in a little white tub um, and it's like a lip treatment, hydrating um, for chap lips, that sort of thing. So I had it on and I'll just put that on over the top. So that's not really providing much of a colour, but just a nice gloss. So that's it. So um, pretty easy, quick one. Uh, like always, you could change out the colours, but I just really wanted to try out the lilac, and I'm so glad I figured out something to do. Whoa, something to do with um, this. So as a base for purple, this is really good. Um, it, you could even try it under a light blue shadow and it might even transform a blue shadow into a lilac. So give that a go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I love comments. Um, subscribe, rate, blah, blah, blah. Do all that stuff and um, keep checking back for more videos.